Back, everybody. As many of you may know, there are so many Filipinos living in San Diego, and October is Filipino American History Month, and it's a great reason to learn how to cook Filipino-inspired dishes. We have Chef Philip Esteban joining us this morning, and it's such a treat. You're here to share some tips, tricks tonight as part of Edible SD at Home Cooking Series. And this morning, since we have you on our show, we're hoping you share some tricks with us. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, everyone. So today, um, for Philippine American History Month, uh, one of my favorite dishes is sisig. It's a traditional dish um, made with tofu. It's kind of a variation of a um, ceviche, but made with pork. But I like to make it a vegan style with uh, tofu. So we marinate tofu in soy sauce and calamansi juice. I'm just gonna go ahead and crisp that up. I can hear the sizzle. What we really wanted to do is just kind of brown the edges, get it really crispy. Uh, for the sake of TV and time, I kind of went ahead and crisped up the tofu already. Gotcha. Um, you can see some uh, little brown crispy edges there. We appreciate that, yeah. I've always had trouble making my tofu crispy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I like to use wood ear mushrooms. Okay. Um, it gives the textures of pig ear. So it's traditionally in sisig, it's kind of like, um, pork jowl, pork belly, pig ears. And so wood ear mushrooms give the texture of it as well. And so I marinate this and also brown sugar, um, kalamatsu juice and soy sauce. And so I'm just gonna add that in and let that start to get crispy. I love that you're teaching us some uh, recipes here this morning, but tonight you're gonna be talking as well for a virtual cooking class. Tell us a little bit about that while you're cooking that up. So this is an edible SD at home cooking class. Um, this is gonna be the second segment. And so it's just giving and offering uh, people at home to be able to cook with professionals. And so there are still a few tickets available. Um, you'll still need to find some time to go pick up these ingredients. Um, you can get them at any local supermarket. If there's anything particular, you can always sub it out with anything else you want. Okay. Uh, Woodier mushrooms might be hard. You can find, you know, bun mushrooms or coffee mushrooms, things like that. So people can still take part. We have the website right there, ediblesandiego.com. Um, and also, can you share a little secret about how to make rice just right? I know it seems like a basic thing, but I don't know how to do it very yeah. well. You know, uh, honestly, my favorite way to cook rice, um, and or the easiest way that I grew up using it, is um, two cups of water to one cup of rice. Ah. And you got to make sure you rinse it out three times. Um, what I like to do it on the stove top is I bring it to a boil. I wait until the water is almost kind of uh, evaporated off. I take it off the heat and then cover it in soil. Uh, and then I just let it steam for itself for like 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, you don't rush to eat it then. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add in some red onions, uh -huh. some uh, red peppers. Ooh, a little spicy. And a little green onions and cilantro mix that's gonna go on top. Now, for those of our viewers that don't know, Chef Philip, you are also part of White Rice. Tell us about that. You wanted to order or open up this like corner bodega, Filipino sari sari over in National yeah. City. Is that right? Um, yeah. Well, actually, this one's going to open up in Liberty Public Market. Okay. Um, we're in the build out right now. And so, White Rice is our version of a uh, sirong bowl, which is a traditional, traditionally breakfast, but you can eat at any time of the day. It's uh, garlic rice, um, garlic rice with two eggs and your choice of meat on the side. Um, so this should open up in two different months. Again, in uh, Point Lama, Liberty Public Market. Okay. And you're also part of donating meals to people, fish to family. We do have to wrap, but if you want to tell us real quick about that. Yep, fish to family is, um, it started off, uh, you know, when the pandemic happened, the thing is that not just the restaurant struggle, but everything down the food chain. So, um, you know, farmers, fishermen, and so they reached out and they asked if we could help create a program that allows um, us to feed people in need uh, through fish. And so, oh, it's all jumping. 
I'm just gonna get this on the plate for you guys to see real fast. Okay. Um, Played it up for us. Yeah, it's a great thing you're doing to support uh, the fishermen and families who need food, of course. <laughs> oh, let's see the final product here. Ooh, and it's steaming. That looks good. Oh, we're so hungry here, Chef. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Thank you, everyone. And, Thanks for joining me this of morning. Of course. Yeah, our viewers at home, you can sign up. You still have space, virtual cooking class with Chef Philip. Thank you so much. Good to see you this morning. Good morning. Thank you.